In this video, I'm going to show you how to subtract or cut out a shape from another shape within Photoshop. For this example, I'm going to create a square with a heart-shaped hole in the middle of it. So to start, we are going to want to go ahead and select our shape tool. You'll see that there is this circle in the toolbar. I can right click this to get this fly out menu. And from here, since I want to start with a square, I'm going to select the rectangle tool. Now I want my final shape to be red. So I'm going to go up to the top menu and under fill, I'm going to change this color to red. From here, I can click, hold down shift and drag my mouse. And this is going to create a perfect square shape. I want this shape to be aligned to the center of my canvas. So I am going to go up to the top menu and you'll see this line that has two rectangles next to it. This is your alignment tool. And from here, you can align this both vertically and horizontally in your canvas. And I'm now going to create another layer. So you can either click on this square with the plus sign in your layer panel, or if you don't see the layers panel, you can go to window layers and you should see these options. So I'm going to click that to create a new layer. And now I want to create the heart shape that we are cutting out. I'm going to right click again on that shape tool. And this time I'm going to go to custom shape tool. Now you'll see that in our top toolbar, we have this shape option that currently has an arrow in it. You may see something else. So we're going to click on this to expand the options and you can actually upload your own shapes if you would prefer to use something else. But I'm going to use this pre-made heart that Photoshop has. Again, I want this to be proportional, so I'm going to hold down shift while I click and drag and create a heart. I want this to be centered inside of our square, so I'm going to do the same thing, go up to that alignment tool and center it both vertically and horizontally. If this tool is not working or these are grayed out, make sure that align to canvas is selected. If it's aligned to selection, but nothing is actually selected, then it's not going to do anything. So make sure if this is not working that you check that canvas option. Great, so now we have our two shapes. To cut out the heart from the square, you are going to select the heart layer, hold down shift or command, or option, and you're going to select the rectangle layer. From here, we can go to our path selection tool, which is going to be right above that shape tool. And we are now going to right click and we can click subtract front shape. This is going to remove that heart shape or that top layer from whatever is underneath it. If you would prefer, you can also get to this option by going to layer, combine shapes, subtract front shape. This is going to do the exact same thing. And now this layer is all one shape. If we change the background color behind it, you can see that that heart is cut out completely from that square. So that is how you subtract or cut out a shape from another shape within Photoshop. If this tutorial was helpful, be sure to subscribe for more Photoshop tutorials and I will see you in the next video.